the list you're working on, I've heard you refer to them as gray swans. Can you explain the difference between a black swan event and a gray swan? Well, I didn't popularize either one of those terms, but uh, you know... Uh, Nassim Nicholas Taleb. Yeah. Yes, he, Dr. Taleb wrote the book about black swans. And the characteristic of a black swan is that you cannot know that they're coming. And therefore, you really can't be prepared. In some ways, I'm not sure we need to know about black swans other than they're possible, right? But a subset of that is a gray swan, which is something that is identifiable. It is an economic occurrence that you can actually identify with a low probability of happening, which we tend to ignore. And that's a key characteristic. We tend not to see it coming. Uh, I look at the Iran hostage crisis, and I say that was a black swan. But if you look at the great financial crisis of 08 and 09, that's a gray swan. People knew that we had an overheated economy. It was highly leveraged based on shaky loans to the um, and to, to borrowers in this country who were getting you know, no documentation loans. And those who said, hey, something bad's going to happen because of this, they actually profited. Not only were they prepared for it, they did very well being positioned for it. And that's written about in the book called The, Great, the Big Short because some did see that gray swan coming. So you've taken, as you said, many, many threats, and you've tried to distill them down. Right now, I think you have a list of seven. Do you want to do you want to run through those really quick? What you think the seven uh, gray swans are? Well, let me just add before that, Grant, that I think there are many, many gray swans, but some of them either they're not fully developed yet, or you do probably just need to ignore them. I condensed the list into seven that I think have the potential for developing into something significant and we should not be ignoring. So just from the top, I'm tracking with the developments around uh, universal basic income, modern monetary theory, what I call American democratic socialism. We're looking at uh, biometric identification, also digital currencies, po the possibility for a cashless society. We're looking at uh, the vulnerability we have for social scoring in this country, as well as uh, fragile networks. Those are sort of the ones on the top of my radar. <laughs>